Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Ambler, Pennsylvania. And the reason why we are in Ambler, Pennsylvania here at the Church of the Messiah is to take a look at something pretty awesome. I've been wanting to come out here to see and it's not the actual church itself, although this is an amazing church. It is one of the most beautiful churches I have ever seen. The church in of itself is honestly worth coming out here to see. But again, that's not the actual reason why we're out here today. But since we are out here today, we are going to take a look just a little bit. Take a look at this um, this church. I just want to show it off with that cool stained glass windows and that amazing bell steeple, the old wooden doors. This really is a fantastic looking church. I was hoping for maybe a cornerstone so I could tell you guys maybe the age of this church. I have no idea how long this church has been here, but I'm thinking it's clearly been here for a little while. Even the Little buildings off to the side are amazing looking. I kind of want to go to church here. I quickly tried to do a little bit of research online to see if I could figure out when the church was built, but couldn't actually find any information. I'm sure if I was to dig a little deeper, I could find some information on the church, but even the own church's website did not really give any information about the history of the church, which is kind of crazy because I can only imagine this church has a pretty interesting history behind it. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, look at these stained glass windows. One of these days, I'm going to have to go to a service here just to see what the church looks like inside. This is awesome. But again, the reason why we're out here today is to not necessarily take a look at the church itself, the amazing, beautiful church itself, or even the amazing, beautiful buildings that sit behind the church. The reason why we're here today is to take a look at what's right back here the cemetery because back here in the cemetery is a really interesting piece of i guess literature history or cinematic history if you will if you're a big fan of uh, books or movies what's back here is probably going to interest you so if you are a big fan of books or you are a big fan of movies and i'm sure you have heard of this small little character in the uh, the world of both of those things named james Bond, and that's the reason why we are here today, because the original James Bond actually lies to rest here in this cemetery. Now you're probably thinking, wait, hold on, what actor is buried here, or what author is buried here? Who, who, who's buried here? How is James Bond, the original James Bond, buried here in this cemetery? And that's where things get really, really interesting, because the actual name James Bond comes from an author. That is what the name James Bond is based off of. When Ian Fleming was trying to come up with a name for his, his character, he looked over on a shelf, saw a book about birds, and it was written by James Bond. And he is buried somewhere here in this cemetery. And of course, as per usual, that's the main issue. He's buried somewhere here in this cemetery. I don't know where. Thankfully, it's not a very big cemetery, so I'm sure it won't take too long to find the grave, but I don't know. It's here, it's here somewhere. We just got to find it. So again, in 1953, when Ian Fleming was writing his, his book, his first James Bond book, and he needed a name for his, his main character, he saw a book on a shelf called Birds of the West Indies, written by James Bond. And I think, guess he just thought, wow, J James Bond, what an awesome sounding name bond james bond i write books about birds i don't know i just i guess he just thought that name sounded amazing had a good ring to it it just sounded very very catchy which of course as we all know it definitely did and he used that name for his his main character and as i said the actual author is buried somewhere here in the cemetery i don't know where i'm still i'm still walking i'm still looking again thankfully it's not a very big cemetery, so I should be able to find this, hopefully, fairly easy, but still really interesting story about how things like that come to be. Most people just know the name, they know the books, they know, they know the movies, but they don't actually know where that name came from. They don't know how Ian Fleming came up with that name. Did he just think of it? Just, I don't know, James, James Bond. Uh, yeah, that, that sounds good. No, he got it from looking over on a shelf and seeing a book about, about birds. And the author's name happened to just be James Bond. And it sounded like the perfect name for his character. I guess the good news is I've actually seen a photo of what the grave looks like. And it's not a standard kind of 
headstone like that. It's kind of more a flat one, sort of like that. So that's what I'm looking for, a flat headstone with a very, very famous name written on it. So far, haven't found anything. No, no bonds yet. No bond, James Bond. I just want to say that over and over over and over again. I, I honestly wonder if the, uh, the people who, who run this church ever say, hey, you know who's buried out in the, the cemetery? Bond, James Bond is buried out in our cemetery. Again, though, so far, I'm not seeing a James Bond. It's gotta it's got be here, I know it's here somewhere. It's gotta be here somewhere. It's just, I'm not entirely sure where. Still walking up and down each one of these aisles. I'm just happy this, ch this this church doesn't have a huge cemetery. Otherwise, I could possibly be here for a while. It's one of the main downfalls of coming out the cemeteries is that you have to find the actual graves. And a lot of times when I look up information on these graves, nobody has said specifically where they're located. And even the websites I find don't say exactly where to go. Sometimes they do, but I say like nine times out of 10, they don't, which is why I always try to tell you where exactly I am in a cemetery so you guys can find the grave yourself. Look at this. There's actual graves here right on the, the path. That's interesting. Some of these graves are quite old, dating back to the, the 1800s and whatnot. But again, I still haven't found the grave of, of James Bonds. I, I, I don't know. It's Like I said, it's here somewhere. So while we're still looking for this grave, I guess I'll ask you guys, what is your um, favorite bit of James Bond, um, I guess, history, if you will? Are you a big fan of the, the books? Did you read the books? Or were you like me and got into James Bond because of the, the movies? That's, that's how I got into James Bond, because of the, the movies. Though I will be completely honest, hadn't really watched any of the movies up until Pierce Brosnan started doing the, um, the films. Because at that point, when his movies were coming out, I wasn't as as into movies as I am now. I've always, I mean, I've always been into movies, but I was a bit more selective and picky about the movies I watched back in the day. I didn't have such a broad, open mind, if you will, when it came to movies. So I was very selective and I was like, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. I'm not going to see this movie. I'm not going to see that movie. Nowadays, I'll just pretty much watch anything because I'm intrigued. I'm interested. I want to, I want to watch movies. But I remember back when the Pierce Brosnan movies came out. I had some friends who wanted to go see them and I started watching those movies. They were pretty fantastic. And from there, I started watching the older James Bond movies and just fell in love with the, the character itself. And I remember when I was a kid, there was a show called James Bond Jr., which is pretty awesome. It was a cartoon series all about James Bond Jr. It had a really cool catchy theme song, which was James, doo doo doo, James Bond Jr. It was, it was awesome. It was fantastic. It was like an action kids cartoon show. I used to love watching that all the time. So I guess really I could say maybe as a kid, I sort of got into James Bond because of the, the cartoon series. But as an adult, got into James Bond because of the Pierce Brosnan movies. What, what, was your, what was your first James Bond movie? Which one got you into? If you're into the movies, what James Bond movie or movies got you into James Bond? Or did you just get into it because you, you were a big fan of the, the books? Comments down below. Let me know. What got you in to James Bond? Again, though, I still have not yet found this grave. I'm still walking up and down every single aisle. We're about, we're about halfway through the cemetery at this point. And I still haven't found it. We have done it. We have found the grave right off of this little entrance right here, which I'll talk to you guys more about in a second. But indeed, we have found the grave of James. James Bond, 1900 to 1989 right next to his wife, I believe it was Mary Fanning Wickham Bond, 1898 to 1997. But right here, the original James Bond, the man who named this classic iconic character of literature and cinema. This is awesome. Could you imagine had Ian Fleming looked over on his bookshelf and seen any other book by let's say Bob Smith? Today we could be saying, Bob, Bob Smith, but we don't. We say James, James Bond, because buried right here beneath my feet is the bird watcher, the author, James Bond. And Ian Fleming looked over and he saw that book, Birds of the West Indies, and thought, wow, that author has a fantastic name, James Bond. That is such an amazing 
awesome sounding name. It's a very strong sounding name that has to be the name of my character for my book. And today we now have that name in, in the history of literature and the history of cinema. That is awesome. And Bray right here in Ambler, Pennsylvania. So the grave actually isn't all that difficult to find if you know where to look, which again, I didn't. So I am gonna tell you guys, right there is the church and right behind it sits the cemetery. These are the amazing buildings that sit right next to the church. Find the parking lot here, walk pretty much all the way down to the very end. But before you get to the end, take the last pathway here on your right, right down here, only a couple rows in sits James Bond. We got one row, two rows, and then he is the third row in here. Right here he is, Bond, James Bond. How cool is that? Again, Ambler, Pennsylvania, the original James Bond buried right here. If you are a fan of the books or the movies, you've got to get out here and pay your respect. All right, guys, but that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Just wanted to come out here, see this amazing grave of the ornithologist, if I'm saying that correctly, the, the man who loved birds, James Bond, who wrote some amazing definitive works about birds, including Birds of the West Indies, which is how the name James Bond became the name of the classic figure when Ian Fleming looked over and saw that book, Birds of the West Indies, and went, man, that is a great, fantastic name. Really, really awesome. So again, get out here, pay your respects, see Bond, James Bond. I just love saying that. That is so, so cool. But all right, guys, with that, I'm going to let you go. If you've ever been out here and you've seen this grave, leave your comments down below. Or if you're just a big fan of James Bond in general, whether you like the books, whether you like the movies, maybe you like both of them, maybe you're like me and you're a huge fan of James Bond Jr., the cartoon show, leave the comments down below. Let me know. Either way, this is so amazing. But I want the comments down below, guys. But all right. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do help support the show. They keep the show going. So I really do appreciate it. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, I mean, I think we all know what today's hashtag should be. Just make it bond. James Bond. So hashtag Bond James Bond. If you guys watch this video all the way to the very end. And like I said, if you hit that like button, and you hit that subscribe button, and you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. I'm going to do it one more time. Bond. James Bond. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.